want to donate the Aron Kodesh. I want to donate the Mizbeach. I want to donate the walls. Give me the Zichut. Give me something. I want my name on the walls of the Beit HaMikdash. Everybody will jump to donate money for the Beit HaMikdash rebuilding. Says the Chafetz Chaim something very powerful. Any person that's mitchazek, that works on Shmirat HaLashon, that works and not talking Lashon Ara when the time is rough. Any person that's mitchazek, that tries not to speak Lashon Hara, such a person is one of the founders and builders of the Beit HaMikdash. Says the Chafetz Chaim, any person that learns the Sefer and tries not to speak Lashon Hara, such a person, his name will be remembered forever as one of the builders of the Beit HaMikdash, Bezrat Hashem. The Chafetz Chaim of here is saying something very powerful. Who doesn't want to have a share in the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash? If Hashem will ask us to sponsor a door, we will all jump to give money. Says the Chafetz Chaim, those who work on Shemirat HaLashon, those who are careful not to speak Lashon Hara, you are one of the founders of the Beit HaMikdash, Bezrat Hashem. Your name will be remembered forever. That's what the Chafetz Chaim says. Your name will be remembered forever. You founded the Beit HaMikdash for trying not to speak Lashon Hara. That's a tremendous vart. That's a tremendous point on the Heilige Chafetz Chaim. Chafetz Chaim goes on. There's a certain malach. There's a certain bad malach. Bad angel. That when one speaks the Shonara, even when he prays, even when he learns, that malach intercepts and kidnaps the tefillah, the prayer, and kidnaps the Torah that a person learns. When one speaks the Shonara, verbally out of his mouth, he creates a ban malach. That ban malach, even when you pray afterwards, comes that malach, fishing, grabs that tefillah away, grabs a prayer away. 